Gonzalez, 21-year-old Madison Mogan, 20-year-old Zana Kernodal, and 20-year-old Ethan Chapin have created lasting impacts on the students of the University of Idaho. It definitely feels really eerie. I mean, right now, even there's barely anybody on campus. Students like Haley Christopher tell me Wednesday's vigil at the Kibbe Dome on campus is exactly what this community needs right now. I think it's good that our community is so strong and willing to come together to support everyone else in their grieving. During the service, the parents of the victims spoke to the crowd of thousands, sharing heartbreaking memories. You start seeing the beauty of what they have and what makes them special. Such a happy, just a, such a great kid, such a perfect little baby. As well as sharing priceless reminders for other families. To make sure that you spend as much time as possible with those people because time is precious and it's something you can't get back. Toward the end of the evening, the dome went dark, but only briefly, as members of the community illuminated the dome using their phones, a reminder that even in the darkness, there's a path forward. You have to put your... In Developing overnight a shift in the investigation into the mur murders of four Idaho college students. Yeah, this case is just mind-blowing. A prosecutor's office initially saying that the four friends were, quote, undoubtedly targeted, but this morning police are reversing course. Right now, the University of Idaho is on edge after that emotional vigil. Look at that, all the lights honoring those four victims. News Nation senior court. police uh, according to the statements it reads there has been conflicting information that has been released over the past 24 hours the county prosecutor's office stated the suspects specifically looked at this residence and that one or more of the occupants were undoubtedly targeted we have spoken with the county prosecutor's office and identified this was a miscommunication detectives do not currently know if the residents or any occupants were specifically targeted, but continue to investigate. So again, Idaho police appear to reverse course and do not know if the residents or any occupants were specifically targeted in that tragedy that happened in that apartment near the University of Idaho campus that again left four students dead. And now, of